Hey guys, so today I decided to um um using this henna. I never used henna before to dye my hair and since I've been trying to do this um healthy natural products um journey to cut back on the 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 hair dye that actually has chemicals and stuff in it. I think I don't know much about henna but it says it's um more healthy than the other um hair dyes so i'm gonna try it oh this is my first 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 time using henna i never used henna before and i'm just gonna try it out and see how it goes i mean i'm gonna read what i need to read and put in my hair so hopefully i don't mess my hair up my hair looks terrible i haven't been washing it like it's been a while so yeah you can see all the products in my hair like i really need to wash my hair um i've just been wearing head wraps and stuff I'm just gonna do <sighs> that my hair i hate wash day <sighs> i hate wash day let me go fix this mess and come back so here you see me opening the product um, I have this bowl that I got from a beauty supply store that I'm going to use to mix my dye. Um, so in the package, it comes with the instructions. It comes with a brush, the dye, and gloves. So this is the package um, that the dye comes in. At first, I thought it was the actual dye that was in the package, but they actually double packed it, which was cool. They double packed the dye, so that's me taking out the dye. Oh dear, well, the henna powder out and putting it into the bowl. So the instruction says that you should pour the henna in the bowl and mix it with water um that's me trying to use half of the 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 powder but eventually i use all of it so that's me putting on the gloves and the instruction pretty much say that you should add water to it and mix it into a paste like consistency so i put the water in there it took a while for the dye to actually become paste it, it it took a lot like it wasn't easy to mix so i mix and mix until i get a good consistency um yeah this this took a took a good amount of time to um to do and then i'll add a little bit more water because i felt like it wasn't it was too thick so i add more water to it so i'm about to put the dye in my hair now it this took a lot of time so i'm probably going to Fast forward the application process. So now I am going to put some bags on my head. Yes, I said it, bags. Um, yep, I am being resourceful. Now I gotta go on the road, so I'ma put a scarf on my head. Not a scarf, but a wrap on my head, so it don't look no type of way on the road. So I'll be back. So hey guys, so I went on the road for like probably an hour. So 
So my hair probably black black. So no, I put I did put um a wrap on my head. So no, I'm gonna take it off so you guys can see how it looks. That's how it looks. So I'm about to wash it and then come back and style it. So see you guys in a few. So here is how my hair looks now after I use the Rushma Rushma hair dye. So my thoughts, like my hair right now is so soft. It's so soft. And the color is so beautiful. Like it looks so good. And Henna dye. This is my first time using this, and I'm so I'm I'm loving it. This is dye is expensive. Like I think it was like close to nine dollars I paid for this, and I think it was worth it. In and mixing it, I was trying to use half of the dye because my hair is short, but I end up use all of it. Um, and I'm glad I did it that way because I knew how much amount of water I should put in there. And um, and I like the I like that fact because with other dyes, like once you mix it, you can't really add anything to it, and plus, it's not healthy for your hair either. So, um, with this, you can measure out how much you want to use, and if you feel like it's not enough, you just add the water in there and mix it, mix it because after the first time I put that set in my hair, it wasn't enough, so I mix some more and put it in there and it came out good it came out so good i mean i don't know if you can see because my background is black too but you can tell like my hair the color is popping right now and i didn't feel I, I must confess i left it in here in there a little bit longer than i was supposed to I suppose I left it in there for 45 minutes. I think I left it in there for an hour because I went on the road to pick up something and then came back home. Um, but yeah, I washed it out and um, with shampoo, condition, conditioner. And I like, I like the color. It was bearable. It smelled like green tea to me. It smelled like green tea, but I think I might stick to this, even though it's a little bit expensive, but if I want to dye my hair again, I, I'll definitely use this again. Um, no, I'm about to um, style my hair. See how I style my hair. Um, I'm gonna upload a video on how I do that, but this video was just to, you know, tell you my ideas of the the dye and, um, tell you what I think and I'm, I'm liking it so I'm gonna start my hair and then I'm gonna post that video up so you will see that video soon so thank you guys for watching my review and I must say I was not I was not sponsored to do this video about this dye with my own money and this is my honest review and I will definitely use this dye again. I will definitely, my hair is not dried, old or anything. It just feels so soft and nice. I'm gonna definitely use this henna dye again. So thank you guys for watching. Like, give me a thumbs up if you like it. Like, share. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Please subscribe to my channel and guys again.